Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you guys so much for clicking onto this video. If you guys are new, my name is Samantha and today I'm going to be unboxing this huge box which is the Dyson Supersonic hair dryer. I'm gonna jump right into unboxing it and then kind of explain it because I feel like everyone who clicks on this video wants to see what's inside this box and all that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna do that first. Okay, so I'm gonna talk and do this, I guess. And I ordered this yesterday and it came today and that's how fast it was. I'm in Canada and I don't know if it's just a Canadian thing or whatnot, but I was super shocked that it came so quick. This is an expensive hair dryer and I have never spent this much on hair care products or like anything related to electronics other than, you know, a camera in the past or like a Game Boy back in the day, you know? So this is quite heavy, not insanely heavy, but like it has a good weight to it. And it comes with the hair dryer itself, a styling concentrator, a smoothing nozzle and a diffuser. On the back, it says fast drying, no extreme heat. That's also one of the reasons why I got this. Engineered for different hair types. So the features are a powerful airflow, no extreme heat. It's a fast drying. And then all the secondary stuff is that there's an LED indicators, there's negative ions. So that's charged particles in the air help reduce static in the hair. Oh my gosh, static is so annoying for you know, really long, thick hair, especially during the winter. Um, there's different airflow settings on this button. There's a cold shot, an insulating chamber here, which reduces surface temperature on both the inside and outside of the barrel. It's engineered for balance. So I guess it's a position of the handle and the motor. That's quite interesting, actually. There's a pulse width modulation, which enables precise control of heating elements. A glass bead thermistor, which is a thermal sensor that measures air temperature and transmit data to the microprocessor. That is very intense. I don't even know what that means. Um, there's different heat settings. There's four of them and including a constant cold mode. It is also acoustically tuned. So the powerful motor is tuned to produce one inaudible frequency. Interesting. And there's a removable filter cage for easy cleaning. So these are magnetic styling attachments and I didn't know it was magnetic. That's pretty cool. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open this. Okay, so it looks like this. It's pretty cool. It's like a section cut of the hair dryer itself and what it looks like. Okay, so I've changed the angle so that you guys can actually see the product rather than me fidgeting with the box. So, take this lid off. And first we have this little brochure. It says, hello and welcome to your new hair dryer. Visit Dyson Supersonic hair dryer owner's page to get acquainted and activate your warranty. And I actually already activated my warranty when I made this purchase. When you check out at the cart or whatever, there's a little box that says um, activate my warranty and stuff like that. So I've already done this and let's see, I'll just open it anyways. And I have to say, this is such a matte feeling. Like, it feels a lot smoother and buttery than I thought. I assumed it was going to be like a really cold metal feeling, but it actually feels a very buttery, kind of almost like that texture that if you know you had a key and you like scratch this, there's going to be that soft layer that comes off. That's what this feels like. I'm actually like, if you guys know, pink is my favorite color. So I'm actually so pleased with how this looks. It's so aesthetically pleasing. This looks very intense. It doesn't even look like a hair dryer. So I'm very interested to see how this works. Um, I'm gonna take this diffuser off and show you guys later. Oh my gosh, okay, this is a lot bigger than I expected. So I have to say that this cord already, first impression, is a very thick 
and I don't know, I actually thought it was gonna be thinner because my old one that's like 10 years old is a lot thinner in cord, but I guess it makes sense to like, you know, to power this in that kind of sense. Like I did not expect to see this chunk here. I thought it was just going to be one entire cord. And this is what this plug looks like. It's pretty thick and high quality. I really do like this design. It's also very ergonomic looking at it right away because of this part, it angles out and the circles get larger so it's easier to pull out. So you're not just pulling on this part or you know, it's definitely gonna be a lot more safer as well. So I really like this part. This part, not so much. It looks like it's in the way or it's just gonna hang off the wall when you plug this one on top. So I'm gonna have to see and come back with a review later on, but for this unboxing sake, that is my first impressions. And this is very, I guess, lightweight. It does feel a lot lighter because most of the weight, I guess, is in the handle. There's nothing else, you know, sticking out and all that kind of stuff. It does weigh a little bit less than my hair dryer now, which is like super, super old, which is why I needed an upgrade. But this is what it looks like for now. And there is the cold button, the on and off, the fan types, and I have to check what this is again. So looking at the box again, this is the heat setting. So there are four heat settings with this red button right here. I'm gonna put this down and go back to the diffuser because that's what I took off here. And this is what it looks like. So it's magnetic. I wanna see if this is gonna, wow, okay. So that's stuck on really well and it's actually, I'm using force right now to take it off. So it does take a little bit of effort. So it's very, very sturdy. I'm actually really impressed with the magnetic part. It makes it so much easier, especially when things are hot right after using it. You can just, you know, I don't know, wear gloves, the ones that you get from those curling irons and just plop it off, put it down. And if you need it, just plop it back on. It does take a little bit of effort. Like I said, you guys probably saw that little struggle. So reading into the diffuser off this, it's a re-engineered diffuser, evenly dispersed airflow to help define curls and reduce frizz. So I have really straight hair naturally, and even after I wash it, it's very straight. So I don't know when I would be using this until I finish curling my hair and it's damp. I really don't know, but if you guys need, that's what this is for. Going into the next one here, this one is, it has a wider and a thinner for precision styling. This is perfect for when you're drying your hair and you have a comb and you really want the heat to go in that certain area, whether you're trying to do loose waves or straighten your hair even more. And again, this is magnetic, so let's see how that goes on. This one is a lot harder to get off because there's less surface area for you to grab versus diffuser, but Again, you can see how strong this is. And a closer look, it says Dyson down here. I wanna look at the diffuser. It actually says it on this side. And now I'm gonna to go to this one over here. So this one is the smoothing nozzle, gentle low velocity airflow to dry and style at the same time. So obviously this is going to be similar to this one, but this one is a lot more concentrated and a narrow versus this one is a lot wider. I think more or less I'm gonna be using this one the most, if not just this alone, just because I don't really style my hair, I don't do much. I literally just get out of the shower, blow dry it and comb it straight. There's nothing else that I do. So next I noticed this over here and it's where the cable was down here. So if you guys do get this, don't miss it. And let's see. Okay, so this looks like it's for you to put down your hair dryer when you're finished using it and this is still hot or for the pieces as well. This is actually really nice. I didn't know that this was gonna come with it. So this is rolled up into this little clear C piece and there's lots of texture on it. And if I flip it over, there is the Dyson logo right there. And actually, up here, look at this tiny thing. I didn't even notice it. Look how tiny and cute this is. I have a feeling this is for the hair dryer, but I have no idea. 
I had to read the user guide and it says in the box comes with this, which I showed you guys, but they say nothing about this. So I guess it's just a little freebie. I have no idea. Okay, so I was really curious and I couldn't figure it out. So I went back onto the website and I saw that it is a storage hanger. Now, I don't think I'll be using this because it won't hold the weight of anything else other than the non-slip heat mat. So I think that's what it might be for or that is the only way that I think I'll be able to use this. So I'm just going to give more close-ups of this itself. It feels really nice. This texture all around here does not feel the same on the pink. It's a lot more, I guess, generic metal feeling that you have. If you look really, really close, I'm not sure if you can see it on camera, but there are these tiny LED lights that when you do click either or that they light up and they're very very tiny I wouldn't even notice it if I didn't like examine it so close and this is where you turn to clean all of this stuff over here so those really old hair dryers are usually at the top at the back but this one is down here so I thought that this was pretty nice so I'm just gonna chime in here I totally forgot but I also got a separate package not from this same box but in another envelope and I think when I checked out there was also a free accessory that came with this hair dryer so they probably had to send that separately I'm going to unbox this as well and show you guys what this is So there's this little paper here that I'm not gonna read right now, but it does tell you what hair dryer this is for. So it's HD01 and HD03. So you probably have to make sure that if you do buy an accessory that make sure that it's okay for the hair dryer that you guys got. So it looks like this. And again, on the back, you can see that there's that magnetic ring. So I'm just gonna plop this on here. That was very strong as well. And you guys can tell. This is gonna be hardest to get off because there's no like surface area compared to the diffuser as well. So it goes on really well and I really like that. So this I just pulled from the website so you guys can see. So it does say that it is complimentary for any Dyson Supersonic hair dryer so you guys can just pick it out at the checkout. So this one is good for fine hair and sensitive scalps. So now I'm gonna run this hair dryer and see what it sounds like so you guys can get an idea. Okay, so I've plugged it in and I'm going to see how well this works and what it sounds like because I'm so curious. When I see it online, you don't really hear and feel and all that kind of stuff. So, whoa. Okay, that was, <laughs> that was a lot more powerful than I thought and the air was quite warm actually. So I'm gonna try out the different settings and to make sure I don't blow anything away because that actually made everything in front of me move. I'm gonna do the cold air first and compare that. So I'm just turning it on and I'm not gonna click any of the buttons at the top here. So when I turn it on, you can see that these lights came up. So that's what I mean from earlier. I do feel a lot of air coming out from here and all that. So when you are using it, make sure you're not covering this. Otherwise, it probably might make it overheat and I don't know what else it will damage. So for sure, just hold it here and don't have anything covering here, like really long bell sleeves that can get caught and cover this area, so. I'm gonna push this. Okay, so when I turn it on, it was a really warm. I could feel the pressure of the air swooping in from this side and uh, pushing out over here. So I kind of had that like movement in my hand and you have to push this blue button down for it to turn cold and if you let go, it starts to get warm again. And because of how fast this air is going, I can see why it can be fast drying. I'm actually really shocked at how powerful this is. So the amount of times that I've just turned it on and off for this video, I can already feel that it's a little bit warm at the bottom here. And I'm gonna see what this red one does now because I'm pretty sure that is the highest mode. So 
on the fourth setting of the heat, it's actually quite hot. I personally don't like it that hot because I already sweat from blow drying my hair because of how long it takes and how hot the heat is from my other hair dryer. So I personally don't like the hot heat. It's quite warm. The third hot one is a little bit warmer, but it's a little bit too hot for me. Um, the second one is probably my best bet and when I completely turned it off, it was room temperature to cool air. Like it was actually kind of cold as well. So now I'm going to go into the fan setting and there's three settings. So I'm going to start with the highest, the medium, and the lowest. And I'm going to be using this on my hair just so you guys can see how powerful it is. So I'm going to start this. The lowest. The medium one. And the highest. So actually right there when I turned it off, I felt a little vibration over here. But anyways, you guys can totally tell that it's quite strong on the highest setting and it's very concentrated. It didn't blow everything. It literally just chose a one section like, you know, wherever I was pointing and it blew that directly. And I have to say that it is quite strong and a lot more powerful than I expected. This is my first time handling like an actual Dyson hair blow dryer. So I'm actually quite shocked and I'm actually curious to see what their other products are like now. But overall, I have to say first impressions, I'm really impressed. I have yet to actually dry my hair after showering. So if you guys are interested, definitely stay tuned for a month's review or even a couple of weeks and I'm definitely gonna get started on using this. And if you guys are interested, stay for the other part of this video and I wanna talk about why I wanted to get this hair dryer. So one of the reasons why I wanted to get this hair dryer is because my hair is so thick and so long that it literally takes me 15 to 20 minutes or 25 to blow dry my hair after showering and I have to take breaks in between, like two to three breaks because either I'm too sweaty and hot or my hair dryer is just overheating and it's getting too hot. So either way, it's just been a little bit annoying to blow dry my hair and I always shower at night. I don't really like to shower in the morning. So of course, I have to have dry hair when I'm sleeping. Otherwise, I'll get headaches and all that kind of stuff or even sick. So I really wanted to get something that's will be really quick and not emit too much heat because I start to sweat and I just showered. So it's like, why do I want to be all sweaty and gross after cleaning myself? And the other reason is because I do dye my hair so much since high school nonstop. I've been dyeing my hair. I do take care of my hair, like heat protectors, oils and all of that kind of stuff. But blow drying my hair with a hot hair dryer is just also something extra that I want to prevent and I don't want that really hay, gross, dry feeling. So that's also why I really wanted to get something that didn't have extreme heat. And I think this is going to be a really good investment. This is honestly my first time. Like I did get my parents the Dyson V11 outsize vacuum, but of course that's just totally different. It's not like an accessory for your hair and that kind of stuff. So I don't really have anything to compare it to other than my existing hair dryer, which is really old. And I've been using that probably for eight years or more. So I didn't even know this about the Dyson one, but it's just so much easier to do that and wipe around it rather than me using a Q-tip and a toilet paper and like cleaning it through because of all like the little wedges and all that kind of stuff. I know it's so expensive. It does retail for $500. So if you guys are interested, um, I bought it straight off of the Dyson website, but there are also other retailers like Bed Bath & Beyond or maybe Best Buy, but double check, they really do rarely have any coupons or it going on sale. So if you guys ever get any chance and you guys see a sale or whatsoever, I would definitely get it. But yeah, it does retail for $500, so it's very expensive and I'm excited to use it. So for sure, stay tuned for an upcoming review and I can probably also do a video where my hair is wet and time how long it takes me to blow dry my hair with the certain settings. I don't know, I haven't thought about that yet, but definitely let me know if you guys are interested in the comments below. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys did like it, please let me know in the comments below. And of course, if you haven't already, it would mean so much to me if you guys would hit that subscribe button, the notification bell, and I'll see you guys in my next video.